Hello, I'm going to show you how to make a hexagon shape in OpenSCAD. Uh, there are two ways to do it. One is based on the point to point measurement and the other one is based on the face to face measurement. Uh, this isn't the this isn't a super accurate way of doing it, but it's to be used in 3D printing, so these holes almost never turn out perfectly accurate anyway. Um, to do this, we're going to do this in two modules. Um, we'll do the first. We'll do the point-to-point -point one first. Um, we're going to call the first module Fex, P H E X. Um, so point hex. Uh, we're going to have three arguments: width, radius, and height. We may as well make it pretty while we're at it. And we need to call it to make it 10 by 0.5 by 10. Now, to construct this, what we're going to do is we're going to create a bunch of cylinders, one cylinder on each point, and wrap wrap the whole thing in the hull command. So we'll put our hull in there. Now our first cylinder is going to be the width divided by 2 minus the radius along the x-axis and then we're just going to copy the same one and rotate it each time. So we're going to move our, we're going to create our cylinder. So width divided by 2 minus radius. It's not moving anywhere on the y and z-axis. We'll create our cylinder, R equals RAD, H equals HERGHT. So, there's our first cylinder. Now we're going to create the, the next one up here. rotate it around the z-axis sixty degrees and there's our first one we're going to copy that line again and all we're going to change is the uh, sixty to one twenty next one 180 and then 240 and then the last one will be 300 and there is our hexagon shaped thing now it actually doesn't look like it, but the distance between there and there is actually the same as the height because we've got 10 and 10 there. Um, as you can see the corners are nicely rounded. Where this becomes inaccurate is that face moves a tiny bit depending on what radius that you select. But again it's about, yeah, they're, they're not going to come out very accurate anyway when you're printing them so you just fiddle with the you just fiddle with the width value until you get your nuts fitting in there nicely. Um, you may want them to press in, you may want them to fit in nice and loosely. I prefer they press in, so uh, yeah, that's if you want a sharp corner, set it to point 0.1 and that'll make them it's a tiny little radius so it'll make them. Now the other way to do the to do this uh, with the face-to-face -face values is to um, use a pair of cubes. We're going to do this in a module as well. So what we're going to do is face, so f hex. 
you only need two arguments with it as well. So we'll make them we'll make it 10 mil wide by 10 mil high. width and height now we're going to use the hull command we're going to create a cube now the cube's going to be centered on the zero zero plane just to make it easier um, the width in this direction is so the, the width between the faces is about 1.7 times the width of that so to get this width so we're going to get the we'll do, we're going to do this cube first so to get the width of this we need to do width uh, divided by 1.7 The depth of the cube is the width because that's the face to face value we've got there. And then uh, the height is fairly straightforward. Need our cube. Right, so now we've got to center that cube. There you go, we've got one, we've got two faces of our hexagon. And what we're going to do is we're going to take the same cube again and we're going to rotate it by 120 degrees. And there we go. I'll just comment that out so you can see exactly what's happened. We've got our cube, so there's our first one, and there's our second one. Uh, there's two faces, there's the other there's another two faces, and then the other face is formed in the middle. You can just you can do that as well, that's another way of doing it. Um, the problem is that you get the only problem with this method is you get these but uh, if you use the hull command on them on it you get rid of that and you get a nice little chamfer again this is not a very accurate way of doing it but it's a hell of a lot simpler than some of the other methods out there um, especially some of the ones on Thingiverse for 3D printing it's doesn't particularly matter as much because yeah, these always end up slightly smaller than what you make them in the model anyway. So you're always playing with that with the values. It's yeah. Um, so again, for your nuts that you want to press in, you so err on the smaller side. Um, and for the you know, make them bigger for the ones you just want nice and loose in there, but also still functional. Um, yeah, that's it.